Welcome to Leap Alive. The true wireless earphones are probably the most valuable creation for mankind, and I'm not exaggerating. These wonderful pairs of headphones have become one of the most essential pieces of tech in our disposal, and there's no denying that the AirPods Pro is probably one of the best true wireless headphones out there in the market. But then, what about the Android? This is the Galaxy Buds Pro, the newest top-of-the-line true wireless headphones from Samsung. They both have the name Pro in it, but are they both as pro as they claim to be? Let's find out right now. Before we get right into the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to see more great contents in the future. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. First, let's talk about the design. Both pairs of these headphones comes in a very different format. The AirPods Pro has a larger case overall compared to the Buds Pro, and they're open really differently. The AirPods Pro comes in a dental floss-like case that opens from the top, where the Buds Pro has a ring box case with a frosted matte finish that feels soft and easy to hold. The finish is pretty similar to the S21 series back. Now, let's talk about the Buds itself. The main differences between these two buds are the stems. The AirPods Pro comes with a short stems for control and mics. They are shorter compared to the normal AirPods. You can squeeze the stems to control the media. On the other hand, the Buds Pro comes in a no-stem design which is a plus for some people. They are very discreet on the ear and really hard to notice. And instead of a stem, the Buds Pro features a touch control that you can tap or hold on the headphones to control media or activate voice control. The downside is that the touch panel is pretty sensitive. You can accidentally pause the music all the time when you try to adjust the buds. There is a feature to completely turn off the touch feature which is great, but it completely eliminates the point of having a touch panel in the first place. Although why stems seems pretty ugly for some people, I actually don't mind it. You can adjust the buds freely without accidentally playing or pausing the music, which is pretty dope. Plus, pressing on the stem is a lot more accurate than on the touch control. The design of these two really affect the weight distribution while wearing. The Buds Pro packs everything into round shaped buds, while the AirPods Pro has an extended stem that is shaped around the shape of human ear. But both sit on the ear as well, they stay there even if you shake your head quite a bit. On top of that, the AirPods Pro is about a gram lighter than on the Buds Pro at 5.4 grams and 6.3 grams. A gram might not sound like much, but wearing them on your ears for an extended period of time does make a significant impact. Another area where the two have a different approach is the tube. AirPods Pro sound tube is built into the ear tips. There's only a hard base on the ear tips so there will be no hard plastic inserted in your ears. This way, your ears don't get fatigued as much when wearing for an extended period of time. The Buds Pro, on the other hand, has an extended plastic sound tube. They are pretty comfortable and get pretty deep in your ear, so you get a really great passive isolation. But the point is, the housing is pretty big, and they are constantly sitting on your ear bones, and it gets pretty painful after some time. But it totally depends on people. You might be the perfect fit for these glass sandals, so give it a try before buying one. Both buds are pro model, packed with both active noise cancellation and ambient sound, and they work like magic. The ANC on both buds works really well. They eliminate the white noise and give you really great isolation. From what we have tested, the AirPods can eliminate a little wider range of sound than the Buds Pro. It basically sounded identical. Standing on the sidewalk, both cancel out the sound of the cars really well. It's only when cars are coming really fast and close that the AirPods can cancel out more sound. The Buds Pro, on the other hand, has two levels of ANC. It's not that big of a difference, except that you get more of a static sound, and the overall quietness increased slightly. Also, the Buds Pro has a very subtle static you get from ANC, which is noticeable at times, but it's not really a deal breaker, and you eventually forget about it when you turn on the music. 
The opposite of the ANC comes the ambient mode for people who need to use the headphones and still want to hear what's going on around them. The main criteria for a good ambient mode is naturality. You don't really want to amplify the sound around you, but rather simulate the feeling of openness for your headphones. Both buds came with ambient mode. On the AirPods Pro, it worked really well. The AirPods Pro is able to replicate the ambient sound that felt really natural to the ear. You can hear the sound around you, even while playing loud music. Switching to the Buds Pro is where things get interesting. The Samsung allows users to adjust the ambient level from 1 to 4 and from testing it out, 1 sounded most natural. Increasing the ambient level makes it sound unnatural and overbearing. Every sound gets amplified so much it becomes too loud, to the point I can hear myself talking, and it sounded like raining all the time. I called this ASMR mode. Another gimmicky feature that would surely surprise you is the 3D surround sound in the 360 audio from Buds Pro and Spatial Audio from AirPods Pro. Basically, this feature allows the headphone to simulate the surround sound based on your head orientation. If you tilt your head to the left, the sound would pan accordingly to the source. AirPods Pro Spatial Audio only works with Apple TV, for now at least, which is a bummer. I was skeptical at first, but this feature actually works really great. The sound tilts accordingly to the source in a very realistic way. Watching war movie on this feature makes you feel like you're in a theater, experiencing the thumping sensation of gunfire and explosion, which is really hard to put into words. Let's hope this feature will be available for more platforms. Switching to the Samsung's 360 audio is kind of a letdown. The 360 audio may have the advantage over the AirPods Pro as they are compatible with more applications such as Netflix or YouTube. But the 360 audio doesn't feel as natural as the AirPods Pro counterparts. It only has the left and right channel panning correlating to the head position, while the overall sound is pretty flat and doesn't have the same dynamic as the AirPods Pro. Apple claimed AirPods Pro can do 4.5 hours on ANC and ambient sound on and 5 hours while off. Samsung can do 5 hours and 8 off. From weeks of testing these two, I'll say the battery isn't an issue. I've never killed the battery on either one. And for charging, the AirPods Pro has the same lightning port, while the Buds Pro support USB-C. Both comes with wireless charging capability and they both work as they should. It's fair to say that both AirPods Pro and Buds Pro were made especially for their own brand's flagship device. Ecosystem has a lot to do with user experience when it comes to using true wireless headphones. Both AirPods Pro and Buds Pro have a very easy first time setup. Just open the lid, press connect, and after that, all you need to do is take it out of the case and put it on. Both work fast and flawlessly without any issue. Both can work across platforms, but there will be limitations using AirPods on Android and the same on Buds Pro on iOS. Both the AirPods Pro and the Buds Pro comes with IP rating, IPX4 on the AirPods and IPX7 on the Buds Pro. Both can handle mild sweats and gentle rain really easily. Wearing them during workout is totally fine, but I would recommend taking these for swimming. Now, let's talk about what matters most, the sound. The AirPods Pro is no doubt one of the best sounding headphones in the market right now. You can hand these around to random people and they would say without a doubt that this is a good sounding headphone. They are detailed, well balanced, and overall very colorful. This pair of headphones would really squeeze out the most of every genre and would really improve your music listening experience. The Buds Pro is a little bit different. This comes with a dual speaker setup, one dynamic driver for tweeter and one for subwoofer. So on paper, the Buds Pro alone is superior to the AirPods Pro by driver number, and they are really great. The sound on the Buds Pro, in my opinion, is fuller and has more dynamic due to more drivers. This separates the highs and the lows really flawlessly. You get those impactful thumping bass without losing details on the treble. The mids on these are not too shabby as well. They are very well detailed, warm, and accurate images. On top of that, the Buds Pro allows the user to adjust the EQ to wherever they prefer, unlike the AirPods that you only get what Apple wanted you to hear. But a little remark, for some people, Buds Pro might feel a little bit dry because of the emphasis on trebles, 
but this is solely depends on your taste. Now, let's talk about the value. It is 249 for the AirPods Pro versus 199 for the Buds Pro. It's easy to say, just buy whichever OS you're on. Both are pro models with the best feature they have to offer. Honestly, you're not looking for value when you buy pro models. You're looking for the best of the best. And these two are hands down the best in their brackets. And I assure you, these buds worth every money. So that's pretty much wrap up the video. So what do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? Leave comments down below. If you like the video, don't forget to leave some thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to see more great contents in the future. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Stay safe.